Have you ever wondered why Venus, our neighboring planet, is often referred to as Earth's evil twin? Picture a world shrouded in thick, toxic clouds with scorching surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. That's Venus for you. Despite being similar in size, mass, and composition to Earth, Venus presents a starkly different hellish landscape. But why is that? Why did Venus, our closest planetary neighbor, follow such a divergent evolutionary path compared to our own blue planet? From the first discovery of Venus in ancient times to the modern probes that have dared to penetrate its hostile atmosphere, the story of Venus is a tale of curiosity, exploration, and scientific discovery. Each piece of information, each data point brings us closer to understanding the complex and fascinating nature of this celestial body. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of Venus, a fascinating world that has intrigued scientists for centuries. Venus, named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, is anything but gentle or inviting. Its story is a tale of contrasts, a journey through time that reveals a world far removed from the tranquil beauty its name suggests. The history of our understanding of Venus stretches back to the dawn of recorded history. The ancients gazed up at the brightest star in the night sky, not knowing that this gleaming beacon was not a star at all, but a planet, shrouded in thick layers of cloud, hiding its secrets from the prying eyes of mankind. As our knowledge evolved, so too did our understanding of Venus. Galileo Galilei, in the early 17th century, was the first to observe Venus through a telescope, noting its changing size and crescent shape. This observation was a key piece of evidence supporting the heliocentric model of our solar system, where the Sun, not the Earth, is at the center. Yet, Venus remained a mystery. Its dense clouds hid its surface from our view, keeping its true nature a secret. It wasn't until the 20th century that we began to unravel the enigma that is Venus. Spacecrafts like NASA's Mariner 2 pierced through the veil of Venus, revealing a world of extremes. The surface temperature of Venus averages around 864 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times that of Earth, comparable to the pressure experienced about half a mile deep in Earth's oceans. And so, Venus, the second planet from the Sun, the so-called morning star, is a world of fire and pressure, a stark contrast to the cool beauty of its namesake. It's a world that defies our expectations, a world that challenges our understanding of what a planet can be. With such extreme conditions, Venus is a world of paradoxes, a celestial body that challenges our understanding of planetary science. Despite its inhospitable nature, Venus bears striking similarities to Earth. Our celestial neighbor Venus is often called Earth's twin due to their comparable size, mass, and composition. In fact, Venus is the closest in size to Earth than any other planet in our solar system. Just like our home planet, Venus boasts a rocky surface and a molten metallic core. It's a gloomy world wrapped in thick clouds of sulfuric acid, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. But don't let this harsh exterior fool you. Beneath those clouds, Venus shares a familiar topography with Earth mountains, valleys, and vast plains. Gravity on Venus is also quite similar to Earth's. If you were to weigh yourself on Venus, your weight would be about 90% of what it is on Earth. So, if you're looking to shed a few pounds, a trip to Venus might just do the trick. Now here's where things get interesting. There's evidence to suggest that Venus might have once been a water world, just like Earth. Scientists believe that billions of years ago, Venus could have had oceans of water, possibly even life. But as the sun grew hotter, the planet's oceans evaporated, and a runaway greenhouse effect kicked in, turning Venus into the scorching world we know today. So why does all this matter? Well, studying Venus can help us understand the precarious balance that allows life to exist on Earth. It's a cautionary tale of what can happen when the conditions for life are pushed to the extreme. Could Venus be a grim preview of Earth's future? The answer might surprise you. As we continue to grapple with climate change and global warming, Venus serves as a stark reminder of the importance of taking care of our own planet. After all, we wouldn't want Earth to end up like its misunderstood twin, would we? Venus may be inhospitable, but it hasn't deterred us from exploring this captivating planet. Our spacefaring journey to Venus began in the early 60s, with NASA's Mariner 2 mission marking the first successful visit to our celestial neighbor. Launched in August of 1962, this intrepid spacecraft braved the harsh conditions of interplanetary travel to capture the first-ever close-up images of Venus. However, the exploration of Venus is not solely the triumph of NASA. The Soviet Union's Venera program holds the distinction of conducting the first successful landing on Venus. Venera 7, launched in August of 1970, 
withstood the planet's extreme temperatures and crushing atmospheric pressure to transmit data back to Earth for a remarkable 23 minutes, offering our first real glimpse of the Venusian surface. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we're still fascinated by Venus. The European Space Agency's Venus Express, launched in November 2005, spent over eight years studying Venus from orbit, providing valuable insights into the planet's atmosphere, surface, and weather patterns. Japan's Akatsuki mission, launched in 2010, is currently in orbit around Venus, studying its dense atmosphere and weather patterns. This mission is particularly interested in the super-rotating winds that whip Venus's upper atmosphere around faster than the planet itself rotates. The most recent endeavor to explore Venus is NASA's upcoming Veritas and Da Vinci Plus missions, planned for the late 20s. Veritas aims to map Venus's surface in unprecedented detail, while Da Vinci Plus will plunge into the planet's thick atmosphere, sampling as it descends to discover how Venus became a hellish world when it has so many other Earth-like characteristics. Despite the challenges, the exploration of Venus continues, feeding our insatiable curiosity about the universe. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Venus, every discovery takes us one step closer to understanding the complexities of our solar system and perhaps, our place within it. Venus, a planet shrouded in mystery, continues to baffle scientists. Its thick, swirling clouds of sulfuric acid veil its surface from our prying eyes, hiding secrets that we are yet to unravel. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Venus, we encounter puzzles that challenge our understanding of planetary science. Let's take for instance Venus's peculiar retrograde rotation. Unlike most planets in our solar system including Earth, Venus spins in the opposite direction. It's as if the planet is upside down, rotating from east to west. The cause of this odd behavior remains a mystery. Some theories suggest a colossal collision in the past may have flipped Venus upside down. Others propose that gravitational interactions with the Sun and Earth could have gradually caused this retrograde spin. Yet none of these theories have been conclusively proven. Then, there's the enigma of Venus's volcanoes. While Venus boasts the most volcanoes of any planet in our solar system, the question of their activity remains unanswered. Some recent studies hint towards potential volcanic activity, with evidence of fresh lava flows spotted on its surface. If confirmed, this would make Venus one of the few geologically active worlds in our solar system. And just when we thought Venus couldn't surprise us any further, scientists recently detected traces of phosphine in its atmosphere. On Earth, phosphine is a gas produced by microbial life forms in oxygen-starved environments. Could this be a sign of life on Venus? Or is there a non-biological process at play that we don't yet understand? The phosphine discovery has sparked a flurry of scientific debate, with more research needed to unravel this puzzle. In our quest to understand the cosmos, Venus continues to challenge our perceptions, pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about our solar system. It's a planet that refuses to reveal its secrets easily, forcing us to question, to probe, and to wonder. Venus, our neighboring planet, remains an enigma, a world full of surprises and unanswered questions. Our journey through the veil of Venus has been a fascinating one. We've delved into its intriguing history, from its discovery to the myriad of explorations that have sought to uncover its secrets. We've compared and contrasted this enigmatic planet with our very own Earth, only to find a surprising number of similarities, despite the stark differences that set them apart. We've also grappled with the mysteries that continue to shroud Venus, those tantalizing questions that keep scientists on their toes, and the rest of us gazing up at the night sky in wonder. From its retrograde rotation to its intense surface temperatures, Venus is a constant source of puzzlement and curiosity. As we continue to probe the mysteries of Venus we are reminded of our place in the vast cosmic ocean. This is just one planet in a universe brimming with countless celestial bodies, each with its own unique story. Until next time, keep looking up and keep questioning.